Hello everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to another food video. I love filming these videos and I love the feedback you guys give me about the recipes that you make and if you make them at home, whether you enjoyed them, it's always lovely. So I'm back with another one. We're going to be going food shopping together, so I'm going to take you guys along and then when we're back, we're going to be cooking three really delicious, simple, budget-friendly recipes because I know that's the kind of style you guys are asking for. Great to feed one person, a whole family. You can scale them up, scale them down however you like. So that's going to be this video. I also want to say a massive, massive thank you to Waitrose who are very kind of partnering with me for this video. I've loved Waitrose for the longest time. For me, they are, they lead the way in customer shopping and they prioritise their growers, their farmers. Everything from the wine that you drink in a bottle to the butter you spread on your toast, each step of the process which was really focus on just ensuring that the best quality is put on the shelves for the customer at the best price, but also the people who you don't see, the farmers, the growers, the producers are all, you know, their welfare is thought after as well. So it's just, for me, I just absolutely love what they stand for. Waitrose have actually invested a hundred million pounds back into making their Waitrose Essential line even more affordable, your favourite items, so they're more affordable for the customer. So it's such a great pledge from them. They're fully aware that, you know, people might have this preconception that Waitrose is expensive, but in comparison to other supermarkets, they actually come out cheaper, which there you go, and you're still getting that fantastic quality and taste that you associate with Waitrose. So we're gonna grab some shopping bags, I'm going to head to my local Waitrose, I'm going to take you guys along as well, and we're just going to have a nice little food shop, and then we're going to come back and cook some delicious food. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. It's definitely worth getting a My Waitrose card. There are so many benefits of being a My Waitrose member. It's free for sign up, and you can get access to the Waitrose magazine, which when you scan this with your shop, you get it for free. There's also personalized vouchers that are sent to you as well. So they're sent to you based on your shopping habits and you can do the scanning shop as well. So just pop your key underneath and then you are allocated a handset, grab, and you're good to go. Just pop it in here. This makes checkout a lot easier too. And if you bring a reusable cup, you can get a coffee. Just pop it underneath and go for a black coffee. So yeah, you can have a nice freshly brewed cup of coffee while you're doing your food shop. Here we are, this is Waitrose Ways to Spend Less. You look for this little arrow on all of the items of the essential line and it shows that they are a new lower price. There's a whole host on here, so let's head on in. Here we are, so this is an example of the new lower prices. They've got all of their fruit and veg, so we've got raspberries, mushrooms, blueberries. So it's got the previous price is 175, it's now 160. I know it's not a huge saving, but across a whole line, even this example, essential courgettes, one pound 90 to one pound 50. And you wanna look at two pound 50 per kilogram which is really really good value and there we are there we go you'll see this new lower price sign around the store a lot passion fruits love passion fruit absolutely delicious I don't use it often enough even Waitrose figs I'm actually gonna grab some of those they'll be delicious in porridge also I love that Waitrose have got rid of the best before dates as well because it's something that really doesn't make sense um, a lot of supermarkets tend to put this on and then it gets past a certain date and people throw it away but it's perfectly edible and delicious and really, really good. So yeah, great to grab these. I've actually just found these Waitrose Essential less than perfect apples with the new lower price. They are one pound for a full bag. I'm gonna use these for smoothies throughout the week and also for some porridge. Again, for, for this price, 85p for fair trade essential bananas. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna grab a bunch of those. It's little things that Waitrose do that just make a big difference. They've got rid of all single-use plastic bags, so all of their fruit and veg is in compostable, recyclable bags, which again is such a nice touch. And a lot of items are loose as well, so you can only buy what you need. So I've just grabbed five onions because I'm gonna be making a French onion soup. So on potatoes and onions. And then we're gonna go on onions here. They came out at 79 pence for all of those. All of the cheese has been reduced as well, so we've got two pounds 80 instead of 2.95. I need some of the essential soft cream cheese. This is one pound 50 now. The taste is so good, it's beautifully creamy and delicious. Obviously Waitrose look after all of their dairy farmers who produce the essentials and Waitrose online. 
usually you would associate lower prices with um, maybe sustainability has been jeopardized or welfare, but All Waitrose Own Brand Fish is MSC certified. It has the blue ticks so you know you're buying. Again, really good quality and also environmentally conscious and farmed consciously fish and meats. Waitrose Bakery is so, so good. They have everything you'd want from focaccia, white buels, sourdough rolls, and their essential baguette is down to a pound, which is so good. So I'm gonna grab one of these. Right guys, that is everything. My trolley is full. I've scanned everything on the scanning shop, so I've just gotta go and check out now. It's really speedy. There we are, so you just scan to say you're done. There we are. Receipt done, pop that in there. All good to go. Also worth picking up a Waitrose weekend at the end of your shop because there's so many great recipes in here. And there we are, we've got new lower prices on the front on the cover of the weekend. I'll be reading that later on, see if there's any recipes I'd like to make. Some great little menu cards at the end of the tills as well. This looks lovely. Squash and chorizo olive roast, kiwi and mascarpone tarts, zingy chicken and bean stew. Oh, they look good, cod and chorizo burgers. Pea and broccoli soup with chive scones. That sounds delicious. I'm gonna take that one. That sounds so good. So I'm back from the food shop and this is everything that I got. Honestly, I'm so, so impressed. The grand total was 46.81. Breakfast, lunches, and dinners for the week with some extra essentials. Also got some fresh herbs in there too. Top ups like coffee beans, extra virgin olive oil, white wine, oat milk. Very, very impressed and because it's Easter approaching, I got some of these luxury hot cross buns. Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm gonna take you guys through a full what I eat in a day. So we're gonna do a breakfast recipe, lunch recipe, dinner recipe, and a snack. So this is like typically what I'd eat day to day. Really nutritious, really delicious food. Let's get into it. Let's start with the coffee because it's early and I need some caffeine. <laughs> So this is how I make my perfect coffee. I use the Waitrose French style coffee beans. They pack such a lovely punch and they're fair trade, which is super important. I just pull a lovely double shot of espresso and then I use oat milk. I just steam it up till it's nice and frothy. And then yeah, that sets me up for the day. That's kind of like the first thing. And then we're gonna move on to breakfast. This is my coconut milk and apple porridge. Okay, so we're starting on breakfast. I'm gonna make a coconut milk porridge with some figs and I'm gonna make some homemade apple sauce to give it a lovely bit of sweetness. So for the porridge, this whole bag of oats, one kilogram, was one pound 40, and that will make enough for breakfast for about a fortnight, if not more. Usually a bag of oats lasts me a really long time. Can of coconut milk, this I'm gonna use about 200 mils of this. This was one pound 10 pence, two pound 20. There's a whole punnet of figs there. I'm just gonna use one for breakfast. And then this whole bag, of a little less than perfect apples was a pound and it is stuffed with apples so i blend these up in smoothies but i'm going to use a couple of these to make some homemade applesauce so starting off we're making a really simple apple sauce using the essential just less than perfect apples i peeled about six in total and cut them up to nice and small pieces popped them in some water drained them and then i stewed them so it's a really simple apple sauce just with a spoonful around a tablespoon of brown sugar and some cinnamon and enough water to cover the apples pop that in like a medium low heat and just stew them down until all the water's evaporated and they should be nice and cooked and just using the back of the spoon to kind of like press them down i pop them in a nice glass airtight container or any kind of airtight container with another splash of water and let them cool then i make the porridge with a full cup of oats and equal parts of coconut milk and water or oat milk in this case this just gives it a lovely sweet creamy taste always add salt to your oats because it just really brings out the flavor this is like the consistency that i like and with the lovely brown oats from waitrose it's perfect with the apple sauce and then i added some figs you don't have to add figs you could add any fruit you want some nuts banana would be lovely and then i just drizzled over some clear runny honey and that was my breakfast really filling so warm and perfect for this time of year i usually just sit down with my book and our little reading nook and just eat this and it really sets me up for the day next up is my snack i make these banana oatmeal bites so for the snack we're going to be making these banana oat bites they are so delicious i just worked out the cost they come in at one pound 17 and that makes a total of 20 bites per bite it works out at about five pence so 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 good 
All you need is some cinnamon. I'm using cinnamon sugar just because I had this in the cupboard. You can use regular cinnamon if you like. Sultanas or raisins. If you're not a fan, you can use nuts or even chocolate chips. It's a bit of a treat. You're going to need some of the porridge oats with wheat and bran or just regular porridge oats. And some bananas. This whole bunch of bananas was 85p. Amazing. So you want to start off with around three medium ripe bananas using a fork just to mash them up to this consistency. And then you want to add in a cup and a half full of these oats. And then raisins, again, sultanas, raisins, fruit, any kind of nuts you'd like. And I'm using cinnamon sugar from Waitrose. You can just use regular cinnamon if you want to like reduce the sugar of this. And that's it. Just stir it all together. I use a little ice cream scoop to portion these out. I ended up making around 12 in total. I think mine was slightly larger than anticipated and I baked them at a 180 oven for around 10 minutes until they're just firm and nice and golden left them to cool these are great they're like packed full of delicious flavor perfect to just eat on the go good little energy booster you can keep them in an airtight container and they'll keep for around three to five days next up is lunch and this is my broad bean bruschetta Okay, so it's lunchtime, and this is going to be one of the most easy things you will see me make, but it's absolutely delicious. I'm going to make a broad bean bruschetta. Now, I love bruschetta, usually classically topped with tomatoes, but I'm going to use the Waitrose Essential Frozen Baby Broad Beans. These are so delicious. They're picked when they're in season, and then I'm going to mix it. Pea and mint is obviously like a lovely combination, but broad beans and mint, again, delicious. So Waitrose Essential Mint Sauce, a little bit of cream cheese to spread on the Waitrose Essential Baguette with a little bit of lemon juice and garlic to rub on the baguette. Start by slicing up the essential baguette. I cut around four pieces, but you can cut as many as you like. Drizzle them in olive oil and pop that under the grill just to get nice and toasted. And then I popped some broad beans into a pan and covered them with recently boiled water. Seasoned them slightly and cooked them for around, I'd say, three to four minutes. The bread was toasted by then, so I just rubbed a garlic clove just to give it a lovely flavour. And then I topped it with some of the Waitrose Essential Soft Cheese. This just gives it a lovely creamy taste and contrast perfectly with the crispy bruschetta and then by that time the broad beans were cooked so I just took them off the heat drained them and then popped them into a bowl and used the back of a fork just to mash them ever so slightly and then I added some of the Waitrose Essential mint sauce you can use fresh mint if you like but this has got a lovely like vinaigrette tang a squeeze of fresh lemon juice some pepper and some rock salt and then again just mash that all that together you can keep on mashing I like mine quite rough and chunky and then I just topped the creamy soft cheese and bread drizzled it with with olive oil and that's it really delicious a great lunch idea would be nice with a salad as well dinner was my classic french onion soup and this is delicious right it is dinner time and we are making a french onion soup this is such a classic and um something that we well, I mean we love a soup but this is all of the lovely ingredients real nice hearty comfort food. So you're going to need about a kilo of onions, some veg stock, some Waitrose Essential unsalted butter, fresh thyme. You can use dried, but I love fresh. Some dry white wine, some grated cheddar and mozzarella, and a Waitrose Essential garlic baguette. So you want to start by peeling and chopping around a kilo of white onions. Don't have to be too fine with this, but the finer the better. And then you want to add some olive oil and butter to a pan. I use a mix of both because the olive oil stops the butter from burning. Once that's melted, add in all of your onions and stir them so they're all fully coated and around a teaspoon of salt. The salt helps draw out the moisture in the onions. And then make around half a pint of veg stock to start with two stock cubes and then continue Continue stirring your onions. If they start to catch on the bottom, this is good because that's what gives it that gorgeous caramelized color. Then add some white wine. If you want to make this without alcohol, you can use apple cider vinegar. Dry white wine would be better with some fresh thyme leaves and then continue caramelizing and stirring. Then add your veg stock. This kind of like deglazes the pan. I used a pint in total. And then I popped the garlic bread baguette into an air fryer just to bake, portioned up the soup. It was such a delicious flavor. You can adjust the season if you feel like it needs any sauce. Salt, then cut up your baguette slices and pop that on top of your onion soup and then top it with the grated cheddar and mozzarella and pop that under a really hot grill. This just makes the cheese go gorgeous and oozy and golden brown and kind of like soaks into the baguette slices. And that's it. It is honestly such a speedy dinner. Really delicious, hearty, warm and perfect for this time of year. Look at that cheese pull. Oh my goodness. 
So that's it guys, I really hope you've enjoyed my what I eat in a day and grocery shop. Huge thank you to Waitrose as always with partnering with me. I've linked all of the recipes and quantities down below as well as a link to the Waitrose new lower prices. Thanks so much, see you soon, bye.